Alright, YouTube, I'm back. Sorry for the abrupt ending. I just realized I got over the exceeded limit. And if you guys counted how many people I killed on, at the last part, please tell me, because that's just... Alright, let's be, let's continue with the fatal... Oh, now they're... Wow, they're actually... Oh, gosh. They're, they're just like... They're just like surrounding my spark. Just... Might have actually been a smart. No, never mind. Look all the dead bodies. Let's see where the general is. The general has to be within the. Uh, right here has to be one of those. Where's the general? I don't see the general. They're leaderless. They're a bunch of anarch. They're a bunch of rebels. Oh my god, I completely slaughtered that one unit within seconds. Oh, the general's back there. Right, Dispatch these units. Alright, wait. Zoom out! Oh man, I won't zoom out. Right. That's really way cowardly. Dispatch two units to destroy them. So yeah. While I do that, my Spartans my other hoplites will surround the governor's palace and tell him to surrender to the Greek power. It'd be cool if they could actually like, show you the governor. Alright, my mouse pad, my mouse track is going crazy. It's just like zooming out and zooming in. Alright, here we go. It'd be, fun, it'd be cool if they could see like the governor and his wife just running around. Oh no, they're gonna all kill us! I went to war with us. Oh, wait, I went to war with them. Never mind. Either way. Oh gosh, I came back. What the? Oh, guys. Oh, yeah, go over there. What the heck just happened? Oh my gosh. What the heck? What the? What the crap just happened? Oh my god! What if they come back and... What was that? Oh my gosh! What the crap just happened? They just... They just completely obliterated my... They destroyed those two units! Oh my god. They're victorious, I swear. I'm gonna get off the walls. You guys. Get off the walls. Walls. Oh my. I don't even know what just happened. One of the weirdest things I've ever seen in this game. If I lose this game, I swear, if I lose this battle, I swear, I'm going to, I'm going to, there is, there is a general, I'll be, I'll be getting stabbed, like, severely. Oh my god, this battle has more casualties than I thought. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, well, how am I getting shelled if I have the... Oh god, my general's gonna get killed by arrows. My troops are literally getting. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. In my... Get... Alright, there we go. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Oh my god, my general's units getting killed. Come on. No, he's gonna die! My general's gonna die! WHY ARE YOU JUST STANDING THERE?! Oh my god, my general is just standing there, waiting to get killed. Oh my god, so... Wow, my general's whole unit got destroyed by archers. Sorry. And he literally stood there- oh, here's my bro. Stood there, just getting- That's just crazy. Wow, I lost so 
Oh my god, why did I have to lose all those troops? Wow, that was that was a much bloodier battle than I expected and I was kind of angry. But that yeah. I probably only have like what? Two more merits. No, I'm good. Uh, you yeah, can't play I mean, battle! God, I just got... They just destroyed me. You lost. Dang it, well, Athens is very... I bad. they lost! Don't... Adam, don't... Well, my brother's gonna go back and play Black Ops. Uh, I'm playing Black Ops, everybody! Bye-bye. Yeah, there he goes, the weirdo. Um... Yeah, so... Gosh, that's not... I thought I was just gonna go in. All right, let me save this. Cause I want to see if I can enslave them. But I need more population. Oh, see, there's my Brittany camp. I have a lot of Brittany campaigns actually. For Julia I War. This is after the battle. Of, sorry, this one battle that was really deadly. And my Carthaginians. My Germanic campaign started. I accidentally taped over it. On my Brittany campaign. So. Campaign. Oh yeah, and the BTE was before Turkish evacuation, which was in my Julia campaign. I mean, Brit um, Rudy I campaign, where the Egyptians were literally just battering me in this bogged down war. It's like World War Two. I just could not keep the losses, the economy. I had to pump all these troops out of Greece and put them in here. The economic pressure was just too much, so I just. Evacuated all my troops from Turkey. And I was, you know, kind of forming them up and then do another invasion. Sort of like a Normandy. So I'm slave the population. Yeah. Alright then. I can't retrain anyone. So I'm gonna try to. Dang it, I can't. Oh god. I'm tempted to. to. to do military barracks, but I want to get my economy up. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to do military barracks because the uh, they're, they're they seem to be trying to march down from their last remaining well their capital. They have another city up there. Uh, I, I guess I'll just recruit some Greek cav. Actually, you know what? I just realized why. I learn something new every campaign I, I take. I'm gonna have to. I, I, don't, I can't have a standing army. Cause, uh, it's like in my Britain campaign, I would, after a war, I would kinda just select some troops, you know, disband them. Kinda like what they do in real life. And then when a war came, I had to retrain them. So that's, that's actually the smart thing to do, even though. It doesn't seem like it. It is because your economy is boosted. You don't have to pay a lot of troops. So yeah. Cause this is thriller. Sorry, people. Just in a thrillerish mood. <laughs> I'm still contemplating whether to actually assist the Carthaginians. Cause if they get a foothold here, this is really gonna ruin my my uh. My kind of invasion up here, I'm gonna have to go attack there, so I'm split my armies, and they're gonna, we're gonna just basically have this giant war in Sicily. Or I could just kind of stop them here. But then I won't, but then I won't be able to get this last Sicilian city, because it's gonna be my allies. So I'm kind of doing a sneaky move. Uh, so this is a really decisive part of my last play. See how long this. It's only three more turns. I think I should assist them. I really do. I, I just. I have a feeling I should just really assist them. Because I don't. I do not want those guys in Sicily. I just don't. I don't want that to happen. So I'll get a couple troops out. I just. I think it would be the smarter move to kind of try to get them out of here, out of Sicily. And then, um, after this battle, I'll come back, continue with my plans to invade lower Italy. And, yeah. 
That's enough. I'm hoping that they have a pretty big army garrison there. Because I don't want to. I don't want to have to actually fight with just that army, a hundred Carthaginian troops. I want them to have at least like 500. So, I mean, we'll have a pretty good way to stand toe to toe against that army. Alright. So, here is my besiegeance of Apollony, or whatever it's called. Still working on that siege. Oh um, man, besiege Elijah. I'm not too concerned about that. Because, you know, I think I have a pretty good garrison in there, actually. I'm working on um, Thurman, because the garrison is pretty small. Let's move, move that army up. Um, Ships ready! Let me see. Ready. Remember, I had a boat with a general in it. So I'm I'm real concerned with this this um the garrison there. Also, I think I'll give them one more militia troop. Mm -hmm. I'll build a hoplite there. And that's that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Um Pergamon, General of Governor's Palace. Let's see how much money I have. Before I build that much, I really, you know, really built my economy. My Greek Navy, surprisingly, I thought would be attacked by now. But my Navy needs to be ramped up. I think it needs to be ramped up. Because there's not to the degree that I like my Navy to be. I like my Navy to be very powerful. Controlling the waters, controlling trade, controlling and controlling trade is having money. And uh, having money is always great. Something I, I love. Money. So. I think I should. Build a couple ships there. I think Pregamon. Are we building ships on Pregamon? If I'm pronouncing that wrong, please correct me because I don't know. Uh, sh sh what am I building troops here for? <laughs> I haven't played this campaign in a while, I don't know. You know what, I could just use an invasion to take off that capital. I think I'm doing, I think I'm gonna do that. Get my navy up here. I think I spent enough money already, Oh, See, I spent too much money. I already have a good navy. Oh yeah, that's right. Rhodes is gonna be my naval base. I forgot, that's why I, that's why I declared my last let's play of two months ago. <laughs> There we go. There's a lot more money pumped into my treasure. So recruit another. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna rebase this dude. So he can get retrained. Rebase him. Oh, uh, you guys continue with the blockade of this capital. Do I have any diplomats? I want to see if I can uh, get peace. I always, I always would want peace. I don't even care if I'm actually winning a war. I have a spy. How old is he? Might need to. Oh, he's he's pretty young, so I don't need to get another spy. I'll make him spy on whatever city that is. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So on the next part, if you just heard my brother, I don't know what he's doing. Um, so for the, oh, excuse me. So for the next part, you'll see the epic battle of Lilibani, or whatever, where the allies of, the allies of Carthage, Greece, helps them break the siege from the Roman threat. And then you will also see the battle of Apollonia. So who can ever can control the coast of Greece? And you will also see this battle. Battle of Elijah. The last main fight for the Macedonians.
that is our next slate of my let's play. This is Gamer Geek Stop signing off.